you get the diagnosis of a cancer and your mind goes blank and you're thinking, what's going on in there? Is this some foreign invader in my body? Is my immune system broken? What's wrong? Did I do something wrong? The truth is that little tumor cells probably are forming in us every day. And generally speaking, our body can get rid of them, can take care of them. But every now and then, one builds and grows and is resistant to our immune response, um, is able to survive within us. So it's not some foreign invader, it's your own cell. The reason it's important to know that a cancer is your own cell, it comes back to how we treat them. Now with bacteria, for example, we can give you an antibiotic because that's some foreign invader. That is somebody else's cell, some other kind of cell. But to kill cancer cells in you, in a patient, and only those cells, leaving the rest of you alone, that's the trick. Not too many years ago, cancer was a very simple discipline. And one doctor could actually understand all that there was to know about pretty much all the cancers that were out there. That is no longer the case. We recognize now that breast cancer is different than colon cancer, is different than leukemia, is different than lymphoma, is different than brain tumors. Our research is taking us deeper and deeper into each one of those tumors. Our therapies, our treatments have gotten more and more complicated for each one of those tumors. No one person can be an expert in all of cancer anymore. And that's where a comprehensive cancer center comes into play. There is no standard of care in cancer medicine today where we're satisfied. Yes, we have some medicines that are working. The Lance Armstrongs of the world we've been curing for almost two decades now. But still it requires crummy few months of chemotherapy, admissions to the hospital, side effects and the like. So even in those cancers where we've figured it out, we still could reduce the side effects. But let's face it, most of the cancers that we take care of, we are far from solving it. And so, how do we get from where we are today, yes, better than we were, but far from where we need to be, to the future where we really are taking care of cancer and curing the disease? Um, by going into clinical research, patients are getting really true state-of-the-art care. Um, and the benefit that they receive from the new medicines is palpable. There are clearly patients who live longer. There have been even patients who we believe are cured from some of these new medicines. Um, and then going forward to figure out how to cure more people with these new medicines. An NCI Comprehensive Cancer Center is sort of like being in the major leagues. There are 40 of them around the country. To get in, you have to have key elements, and Lombardi and Georgetown University Hospital has all of the key elements. It involves outstanding clinical folks and clinical research. It involves outstanding and broad basic science, discovery, understanding what makes cancers tick, and one that most folks don't think about, but population science looking at populations as a whole and understanding what is it about our environment, our world, our diet that changes our risk for cancer, changes our outcomes. We have all three of those here at Lombardi. One of the other aspects of being a comprehensive cancer center is to really take care of the whole person, the cura personalis angle or focus uh, of the Georgetown University Hospital. And the Cancer Center really uh, is a great model for the cura personalis focus. Um, not only are we providing state-of-the-art medical care, um, patients have access to nutrition support. We have outstanding dietary support. We have outstanding uh, support from the chaplains. We have an art therapy program to die for. Patients come and, and get involved in all sorts of creative writing and arts and the like, so that many patients actually kind of enjoy their day here at the center because of this. In fact, I have one patient who calls it chemo camp because she has so much fun when she comes. Um, but we know that everybody at some point in their battle, or many people at some point in their battle, um, uh, are going to get into some trouble, are going to feel uncomfortable, are going to hurt. Um, and so we also have really an outstanding program in palliative care 
that dovetails beautifully with our clinical program. So you would be seen with a palliative care doctor, with your clinical doctor, uh, to make sure we're covering all of your symptoms and all the bases. I'm proud to lead the Division of Hematology Oncology here at Georgetown. Um, I'm proud mostly because of the people I work with every day. And if one looks at our physicians that we have within this group, you look across and you see really world leaders on a clinical front in the areas of lymphoma, of breast cancer, of GI cancer, of lung cancer, of head and neck cancer. Um, so these people are clearly the best and the brightest that are out there. But that's not really the reason I like them so much. The really the reason I like them and I'm so proud of them is that they're people and they understand about talking to folks and people are scared and coming in for information and um, uh, really to see the number of lives that we touch on a daily basis, um, it's quite a team and I'm really proud of them.